Today on the VR Cauldron, we'll be comparing this silicone face mask for the Oculus Quest with this PU Leather face mask from Kiwi Designs, also obviously for the Oculus Quest. Hello and welcome back to the VR Cauldron, your melting pot of VR goodness. So today we're looking at face masks for the Oculus Quest. We've got this blue silicone one, which was, uh, it, says, it says it's from one cut, but I believe that all the silicone ones you can get are pretty much manufactured in the same factory off somewhere else in the world. Uh, this cost me £9. And then this one from Kiwi Designs is actually not just this one. This is a lot more than one. This comes with an eight millimeter pad, which is connected right now. And as you can see, it just comes off because it's connected using Velcro. Um, so there's an eight millimeter one, there's a 12 millimeter one. Uh, it comes with this plastic gasket that actually replaces the stock one. Uh, and it's got little vents on it, as you can see. So we'll be looking into whether those vents actually do anything and uh, how we uh, feel about this mask. So let's start with an unboxing, because everyone loves an unboxing. Right, so what we got here, this is the box of the uh, Facial Interface Bracket by Kiwi Design. So uh, same brand that made my uh, Oculus Touch holders. You can see that. Quite like these quite a lot. Quitey, quite, quite. So let's put them to one side. Let's get into here. Right, uh, mm, there we go. That's nice. So, a few things in here. We have got something I've wanted a while. So, lens covers for Oculus Quest. And nose thingy majig to uh, stop the light leak because you can uh, light gets in through the Oculus Quest nose as it does through the uh, Oculus Rift nose. And this is the thing that goes onto the Oculus Quest. I don't mind that likely, to be honest. I quite like uh, being able to see through it so I can see what's going on. And then we've got the um, two different sizes of cushioning. So now we know what we get in the box, what we're going to do is rather than just talk about it, because who likes a review when we just look at it and say, oh, it's nice and soft, isn't it? It feels nice. I'm not sure how long it'll last. I'm actually going to put it through its paces for its intended usage because the original Oculus Quest face mask is actually quite comfortable. So there's no real reason to swap it. The problem is when it comes to exercise because it's made of a sponge, which is what makes it comfortable. It actually just soaks up all the sweat, which is fine when you're using it. It keeps the sweat away. However, over time, it stinks. So to combat that, you can either put this over the top of it or you can replace the entire thing with this one. So I'll be doing a few rounds of Thrill of the Fight, the sweatiest game on VR, just to see if they're any good. So before I start boxing, the first thing I'm gonna do is turn the quest from everyday game mode into exercise mode. To do that, I'll get rid of this, which I could probably use, but this is just plastic, so I'd rather get the sweat on that. Floppy silicone, what's it? Didn't take too long to get on. And then you can have a look at this bit, the nose. It's got a little tiny hook thing that it goes over there. So I'm going to do a fight in this and show you exactly what happens. Off we go. Huh. So I've just done a practice match. As you can see, it is absolutely caked in sweat up there as well. That's obviously stock. Um, I'm going to put the uh, Kiwi one on now. I expect it to be caked in sweat in a similar way, to be honest. The uh, difference with this is it's not very, it's not on very well. That's the problem. It looks great on pictures, but over here that just comes undone. So when you're looking down through the nose, you see this annoying little gap, and I don't mind if it's the whole thing, but it's if it's just this annoying little thing. Oh, I get to me nervous when I'm trying to make my way through the boxing world, you know, make a name for myself. So I'm gonna put the evil one on. Uh, well, I'll do it now. So let's take this one off. 
So this obviously replaces this. Now, that's the stock sponge. If I was boxing just with this, it wouldn't get caked and sweat the same way because it's obviously made of sponge. The problem is it soaks it all up and absolutely stinks. So, put that to one side. So there it is without. What's gonna happen is this bit is gonna take its place. You can see there's little vents that apparently uh, meant to let the air in. So hopefully uh, that will help stop steaming up, especially when I've got my glasses on, which I don't right now. So I'm gonna use, which ones? Let's have a look at these side by side. So one is obviously thicker than the others. Unlike uh, you might have seen my VR cover review for the, uh, the head strap. For that one, you've got to choose between the different sizes, whereas these, Kiwi Design, actually do supply both. However, it was £30, so I do wonder that if they held one back and let you choose, could they sell it for cheaper? Well, obviously they could, but they don't. Put that there, shake it a bit, because, oh, that last fight was a killer. All right, let's go along here. I should just look at the camera, shouldn't I? And, oh dear, need a drink. Don't forget to always stay hydrated when you're exercising, especially if it's a warm day. So there we go, that's the PU lever, bit of sweat there already. That looks on. So there's only clips at the top. So the, uh, the two holes at the top, either side of the strap. So put those in there, like that. Yep, and then make sure the nose goes in at the front. That's all it needs, I think. Right, now the nose part is clipped in, that seems a lot better so uh, let's go let's uh, actually before I start let's just show you the lens cover the lens cover is quite good I hope I've got it the wrong way right way now just so when you put it away in the box fit that over there and nothing's gonna scratch your lenses so I quite like that that's why I went for this one and not the AMVR one even though the AMVR one might be better but I don't know because I haven't tried it and I haven't tried the VR cover one as well. So let's go. I'm going to go and have another fight and I'm going to report back. You don't need to see me fighting in my boxes. No one needs to see that. So I'll see you shortly. Oh, six. Halfway for a six round fight with Moneymaker. That is the amount of sweat on it, which is nowhere near as much as the, uh, uh, the silicone ones. You can see there's still the sweat on that. Pure plastic. I'm guessing. There must be a little bit of absorbency there and that's why it's not running off because if it was totally sweat proof it would be on it but i think what i might do is just use this one as my fighting one anyway i'm going to start the next round now i'm in the 12 millimeter kiwi design face mask one thing i immediately notice when i compare this one to the stock one is that it pushes uh closer on the cheeks than the other one which I feel like the mask's further away, and I feel like the uh, the field of view is slightly decreased. There's definitely a massive gap in the nose compared to the uh, the stock one. However, this one does come with the nose uh, blocker, light blocker thing. So I'll try that again. Later. I'll try that later. A bit slow, but eventually I'll remember where where everything is. Was there one behind me? Oh, there's there. Let's just try and be fast. Ah. Oh. I wish you'd just shoot away from the screen, like in Time Crisis, but no! Oh, I've already got them. Gotta do it properly, yeah! Got that one. Oh, there's one over there. There. All the way through. Yeah, I, I reckon the field of view. I can't really tell. I can't be sure. I can't measure it. But he's uh, decreased on this. It's fairly comfortable. Not as comfortable as the original mask. Bear in mind, I did buy this for the boxing. What did I get? 23 points. That's not very good. Let's get rid of that. 
Right, so that was the uh, 12 millimeter. It also comes with an 8 millimeter. So I'm going to try that. I'd imagine that the field of view will be uh, increased on that one because it's got smaller padding. So the whole thing should be a bit closer to your face. Right, let's just try that one. Right, so here I am in the 8 millimeter one. Um, the gap between the nose feels tiny bit smaller, still larger than stock, and I'm still not wearing the nose cover. Um, I think. The field of view is slightly larger. Right, that's the gun. That's the gun. Come on. Right, gonna be 23. Well, gonna be 52, but that's not happening. Right, go. By the way, I'm playing. Uh, there's someone there. PC VR version of Pavlov, but using the Oculus Quest, streaming from virtual desktop. If uh, you're interested in my virtual desktop setup, let me know. I'll do a video on it. I might just do it anyway. Get to run out of bullets soon, haven't I? Oh, I did that last time. Oh, shoot. Sure. There we go. There we go. Ah! Bugger. Let's get used to where everyone is. Okay, so you know what? I prefer the eight millimeter to the uh, twelve millimeter, so I prefer this one I'm using right now. This is the one I'm going to be using for boxing. Oh, hello, doink! Have they got a little? They got a little. Oh, get out! How many points do I lose by uh, not getting out straight away? What I get? What I get? What I get? Thirty-one! Yay! Thirty-one! I am in 11,446th place. Blue neck. At least they've got that many players. So, there we have it. 8mm Kiwi design, 12mm Kiwi design. I like it. First taste of Pavlov. Obviously, it's just the, uh, the shooting range. Still need to get a bit better. I've been playing with bots mainly. I might do a stream. I might do a stream, Pavlov, a Pavlov stream. Go online with some uh, real people. Let me know if you'd be uh, interested in that in the comments. Oh, what am I doing? I've gone without any bus What happens if you go through and don't shoot anyone? Zero. Although this beats the uh, the silicone one, let's get rid of that one. How is it in everyday usage? Would I use it to totally replace the stock one? Well, no. For a start, those vents don't seem to do anything of use that I can tell anyway. One problem I often have with VR is that when I'm wearing my glasses, they steam up. Now, one issue I might have with a new face mask is do they actually fit in? Now, let's have a look. My glasses aren't that big. They, it's a struggle to get in. I can push them over my glasses, but they don't go easily in just like on the stock one. So that's a bit of a minus for me. I also notice that my glasses are a lot further away from the lenses with these, which sounds like a good thing. However, it does mean this face mask is actually pushing the quest away from your eyes slightly because of the way it's shaped, which is going to decrease your field of view. So watch out for that, because no one wants a decreased field of view because that kills the immersion. More FOV equals good. Also, because of how narrow this mask is compared to the stock one, the stock one goes around the curve of your cheeks like that. And what it does is spreads the pressure along, which over long periods can still um, can still put a bit of pressure on your cheeks. However, this one, because it's shorter, well, it's, it's narrower, it puts more, I find, it puts more pressure on that spot there and that spot there. So for prolonged usage, I wouldn't recommend using this. However, I am going to keep it. Because for what I wanted it for, which was a replacement for the silicone one that's now on the floor down there, this is absolutely perfect. It doesn't move around, you can wipe the sweat off it, however it doesn't cause the sweat just to run all the way down your face. Because there does seem to be a bit of absorption, which is another reason why I wouldn't want to use this every day, because that sweat's still in there. So I'm going to use this just for my exercising. And no one else is ever going to have to go near it, which is probably for the best. So I do like this, but the stock one is my everyday game gear.
Luckily, doesn't take long to swap over. It's just the two clips there and the clip in the nose and it comes off nice and easy. I don't feel like I'm gonna break anything when I do that. So, there you have it. It's decent, but it could be better. Overall, I'm gonna give this a seven out of 10, which is a VR Cauldron Bronze Award. Well done, Kiwi Designs, pretty good. So if you found that video useful or even mildly entertaining, you know what to do. And if you'd like to catch my next VR video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ding the bell, because when I post it, then you'll know about it, and I'd really appreciate it. So, that's it from me. I've been Witch. You've been watching the VR Cauldron. Stay safe, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.